first of all, hello. Uh, it's been a little while. My dad is in town, and so I've been chilling with him, and just been having a really good time, and um, I've been working on some really cool stuff at work. Uh, I've been working on stuff for a fighter jet. I think I'm allowed to say that. Yeah, I don't see why not. I'm not saying a model or anything like that. I don't think I'm breaking any NDAs or anything like that. And there's no way for you to tell whether or not I'm even telling the truth. So who cares? Yeah, I'm working on a really cool thing at work. So uh, that's taking a lot of my time. And like I said, I'm chilling with my dad. So I actually want to get... I, I may have to um, do this kind of fast because my dad is currently out to eat with friends and I'm supposed to chill with him today as well. He goes back to Thailand on Monday. So I'm just going to try to squeeze this video... 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 Video out. Uh, uh, um, you know, just to tide us over. And the answer to the um, trivia question is either tonight or tomorrow, depending on when I release this video. But I wanted to just cover something I found hilarious. Um, I was literally like, that was a genuine smile that you saw when, when I started recording because I was just reading this, the list of films considered the worst in Wikipedia. It was a genuine smile. It wasn't like what I call, this is going to sound like really rude because the guy's been through enough shit, but I want to call it dobricking. The act of faking a smile on an intro like when when you you hit record but you're already smiling or laughing at something and when like everyone around you is also like ah like laughing like that but you're faking it that's called dobricking this was this was a reverse dobrik what i was doing i was actually laughing genuinely at I don't want to call it garbage because they're, dude, their movies are big, in some cases, big blockbusters that were just awful movies considered the worst in Wikipedia. There's a whole page devoted to this, divided by decade. So I figure, you know, based off of our demographics on the channel, you, pretty much the, the lot of, I'll say us, uh, are from 18 to 35 years old, and then I myself am on the outside of that demographic. I'm like 41, and like the remainder of us, you know, comprise like 30% or something. So I think there's a sweet spot here in the 2000s where everyone's going to be like, oh, dude, I remember that, or I can at least describe it because, hey, man, hats off to these wiki editors. If you want to see some wiki at its finest, hit up this page, the list of films considered the worst, and you watch what these guys can really do. Let's just, let's go. Let's read about it. So let's start with the classic 2000s, Battlefield Earth from 2000. Battlefield Earth is based on the first half of L. Ron Hubbard's novel of the same name and stars John Travolta, Barry Pepper, and Forrest Whitaker. Although a sequel covering the second half of the book was planned, the panning from critics, poor box office performance, and financial ruin of franchise pictures killed off such plans. It was criticized for a poor script, hammy acting, overuse of Dutch angles, repetitive dialogue, and several inconsistencies and plot holes. Just so you know, a Dutch angle is where the camera is fil filmed where it's not with the horizon horizontal to the viewer. At least I believe that's what it is. Let's see over here, Dutch angle, also known as a Dutch tilt, canted angle, or oblique angle is a type of camera shot which involves setting the camera at an angle on its roll axis so the shot is composed with the vertical lines at an angle to the side of the frame or so that the horizon of the shot is not parallel with the blah blah blah. There you go, you get the idea. Yeah. Anyway, so it used a shitload of those, and it emerged that it had fraudulently overstated the film's budget by $31 million. It has a 3% rating at Rotten Tomatoes, and it was included in their top 100 worst-reviewed movies of the 2000s. Roger Ebert predicted that the film for decades to come will be the punchline of jokes about bad movies. Ebert also wrote the director, Roger Christian, has learned from better films that directors sometimes tilt their cameras, but he has not learned why. It is also on his most hated list. Nathan Ray Rabin, 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 I'll bet Nathan Rabin covered the film as part of his My World of Flops column for the AV Club, calling it a fiasco that occupies a distinguished place high atop the pantheon of widely reviled crap, and said a legendary de 
disaster well before it finished completion. Battlefield Earth hit theaters with a kick me sign on it so massive it could be detected from outer space. It won seven golden raspberry awards, including worst picture and worst screen couple John Travolta and anyone on the screen with him. In 2005, an eighth Razzie for worst drama of our first 25 years was awarded to the film. And in 2010, it won a ninth Razzie at the 30th Golden Raspberry Awards for Worst Picture of the Decade, the most of any film in the history of the awards at the time. I'm sorry, I'm still tripping on that with anyone on screen with a line. Before Jack and Jill surpassed its record with 10 wins in 2012. Okay, we'll cover Jack and Jill next time then. The movie appeared on Metacritic's list of the all-time lowest scoring films and is on the MRQE's 50 worst movies list, as well as worst film lists from Screen Rant, Vanity Fair, Flavor Wire, Digital Trends, and the New York Daily News. Empire named it the second worst movie movie ever made after Batman and Robin and The Register listed it as the worst movie ever made. Pepper and Whittaker both expressed regret for their involvement in Battlefield Earth while film while film screen screenwriter sorry J. David Shapiro later apologized for making the suckiest movie ever. Unreal. Okay, moving on. Honest from 2000, a French-British black comedy crime film and the directorial debut of Eurythmics member David A. Stewart, I should just say Eurythmics, I believe, starring three members of the British-Canadian girl group All Saints, Melanie Blatt, Nicole, and Natalie Appleton. It received a large amount of media criticism following its release. The Scottish newspaper Daily Record described Honest thus. This turgid tale of 60s London isn't just bad, it's quite probably the worst film ever. Peter Bradshaw noted that Honest subscribes to the usual credulous fictions about the charm, glamour, and wit of violent criminals, and leaves out these qualities in spades, and added, however silly and implausible, it would be alright if there was the slightest hint of Rio or fun in the script, written by comedy giants Dick Clement and Ian Lafrenet. But there isn't. Alexander Walker called Honest an ugly, ratty-looking load of jazzy cliches buried in flashy has-been styles, including slow-mo frolicking in the Trafalgar Square fountains, strobe-lit druggy sessions, and accelerated action of the mattress. On the mattress, I should say. There you go. British film historian I.Q. Hunter later listed Honest as one of the candidates for the title of worst British film ever made. Hunter, the worst British film ever made. Okay, Titanic, The Legend Goes On from 2000. The Legend Goes On, to be clear. Titanic, The Legend Goes On, also known as Titanic, Mille e una storia, Titanic, La Leganda Continua, and Titanic, the animated movie. Everything I just said is like a Saturday Night Live skit. Is an Italian animated mockbuster about the sinking of the RMS Titanic. It features a similar romantic storyline to James Cameron's 1997 Titanic film, but also has a number of talking animals, most notably a rapping dog. Despite the tragedy, the film has a happy ending in which geographically impossible dolphins rescue the other animals. Reviews condemn the quality of the animation and criticize the plot for being insensitive to the Titanic's memory. Total film named Titanic The Legend goes on as officially the worst film ever made after it topped a list of the 66 worst films ever. Critic Trim Brayton said that it's one of the most surreally bad films I have ever encountered, adding, for sheer mesmerizing grotesqueness, there's almost nothing I can name that beats it, and no fan of bad movies can say that their life is complete till they have been exposed to it. I'm crying, man. I have to edit this so much and cut. This is the best. Total Film also included the film on a list of the worst kids' movies, describing it as being widely considered one of the worst animated films ever made, while Spanish film mag 
magazine Photogrammas selected it as one of the 20 worst films ever made. Screen Rant included it on a list of the 12 worst animated films of all time and it topped the showbiz cheat sheet list of the top 10 worst animated films ever with author Will Roberts commenting that any list of the worst animated films of all time begins with Titanic, the legend goes on. <laughs> In 2012, Titanic The Legend Goes On became the lowest rated film on IMDb's bottom 100 list. I can't, I can't, that, nothing could be better than that. I'm gonna try to continue though. Freddy Got Fingered, 2001. I think I saw this in the, th no, I saw Road Trip, not Freddy Got Fingered. Okay. The comedy film Freddy Got Fingered stars Tom Green, who also wrote and directed it, featuring largely gross out and shock humor similar to that featured in the Tom Green show. In the film, Green stars as a 28-year-old slacker and cartoonist who falsely accuses his father of child molestation when he questions his son's life goals. Freddy Got Fingered received overwhelmingly negative reviews with CNN book critic Paul Clinton declaring it quite simply the worst movie ever released by a major studio in Hollywood history. Warren Epstein of the Gazette described Freddy Got Fingered as the worst movie ever made. A review in the Washington Post said, if ever a movie testified to the utter creative bankruptcy of the Hollywood film industry, it is the abomination known as Freddy Got Fingered. Robert Kohler of Variety called it one of the most brutally awful comedies ever to emerge from a major studio. Roger Ebert included the film on his most hated list, gave it zero out of four stars, and wrote, this movie doesn't scrape the bottom of the barrel. This movie isn't the bottom of the barrel. This movie isn't below the bottom of the barrel. This movie doesn't deserve to be mentioned in the same sentence with barrel. <laughs> Freddy Got Fingered was nominated for eight awards at the 2001 Razzies and won for Worst Picture, Worst Actor, Worst Director, Worst Screenplay, and Worst On-Screen Couple. Razzie's founder, John J.B. Wilson, called it offensive, stupid, and obnoxious, and said it had no redeeming value. Green accepted his awards in person, traveling to the ceremony in a white Cadillac, wearing a tuxedo, and rolling out his own red carpet to the presentation. The movie has a, an 11% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. In 2010, the film was nominated at the 30th Golden Raspberry Awards for Worst Picture of the Decade, though it lost to Battlefield Earth. Freddy Got Fingered also appeared on Metacritic's list of the all-time lowest scoring films, was featured in Empire's list of the 50 worst movies ever poll, and is on the MRQE's 50 worst movies list. And with that, I'm going to go and eat dinner with my dad, spend some time with him. I think this will probably be the only video for the next two days or so, maybe a new one on Monday. Uh, maybe I'll release either the, it's Friday today, it's Saturday tomorrow, sometime, I don't know, but talk with me in the comments and everything, like and subscribe, please help the algorithm and answer the trivia question if it hasn't been already and then i'll post a new one that's the other thing i want to make these at least weekly i want to start doing like a 50 dollars minimum amazon gift card giveaway not give it trivia you got to know the answer and you got to answer you know the rules are posted and everything uh in the thing so you got to read the rules but i think a weekly thing this is really cool the fact that nobody answered this one yet is really exciting to me yeah so uh, let's do it. Let's keep on doing these trivias. They're very, very fun. Let's talk in the comments. I'll see you guys soon. Uh, oh, and this was super fun. We're doing this again. You bet your ass we're going to be doing more of the worst movies ever. We didn't, speaking of barrels, we didn't even scratch the surface of the bottom of all these barrels. We got glitter swept away. We got the Master of Disguise, Ballistic, never even heard of that. Ben and Arthur, 2002, from Justin to Kelly, The, the Room. The Room is included in this list, dude. This, this, The Room deserves a list on its own, a reading on its own. You know what I'm saying? Please let me know what you thought of this video. I swear, let's talk movies. I'll be there. I'll talk with you guys. Okay, bye. <laughs> Review. <laughs> Review.
reviews condemned the quality of the animation and criticized the plot for being insensitive to the t- <laughs> I can't get through it. Including worst picture and worst screen couple, John Travolta and any. <laughs> Say that long. 